Have you ever wondered how your eyesight can affect your shooting? Let's find out. I'm Richard, USCCA training manager and certified instructor. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about cross-eyed dominance and how that can affect your shooting and how you can actually train with it if you do have cross-eyed dominance. Now, what is that exactly? Basically what it means is that your dominant eye is on the opposite side of your body from your dominant shooting hand. Now that sounds a little weird, but in reality, it's a lot more common than you'd think. Almost one third of people in the country are cross-eyed dominant when it comes to shooting. So if you want to find out what your dominant eye is, or if you are in fact cross-eyed dominant, there's a simple trick you can do. So what you want to do is you want to pick an object across the room. So I'm just going to use the camera here. I'm going to make a hole with my hands. I'm going to look at that object with my hands and I'm going to slowly bring my, eye, my hands back to my eyes. And what's going to happen is it naturally settles over my dominant eye. So you can do that right now. Pick, a, pick an object in the room, put your hands up like that and just bring your hands back. They're going to naturally come to your dominant eye. Well, there's a couple of different ways you can go about training for this. So if you are someone who is looking for that way to train in your cross-eye dominant, here's some tips for you. The first thing you can do that's been suggested by several instructors is to literally switch which hand you shoot with. Now, the benefit of this is that now you don't have to worry about aligning, everything's nice and lined. So if I was, if I'm a left eye dominant shooter, but you're right-handed, I can just switch that gun to my left hand. And now I've got that perfect alignment every time I want to shoot. That's easy, it's great, but now I've got to relearn everything with the gun, how to hold it, how to take it out of the holster, how to do my reloads, all of that stuff. Now I have to learn how to do that left-handed. So if you want to work with that, you certainly can, but there are a couple other things you can do as well. Uh, the other thing I want to mention about that is with the handgun, you know, it's, it's optional to shoot left or right-handed depending on your eye dominance, but with a long gun, like a rifle or a shotgun, really the best way to do that is to switch to your support hand because there's really no way to get that good cheek weld and shoot with the other eye. So if you don't want to switch hands, what else can you do? Well, there's two things you can do. It really comes down to two buckets. You can either move your head or you can move the gun. If I want to move my head and I'm going to use my, my finger gun sights here, just imagine this is the front sight and these are my rear sights here. If I want to just move my head, I can rotate it on the vertical axis. So I'm sighted in here, so I'm going to use my right eye to get on target because I'm, I'm right eye dominant. But now I can just simply move my head to get that good sight alignment sight picture with my left eye. So the gun's still on target, now I've got my left eye to get that good sight alignment sight picture. If I don't want to do that, I can also just simply tilt my head. So I've got my good sight alignment sight picture, now I can just rotate my head down and I'm back on target. Now again, with that, you're putting the gun out, you're moving your head in a different direction than the gun is actually moving. So some people don't like that. Some people don't like canting their head down because now I'm losing some of that peripheral vision. Work with it if you want to, try it out, see what works best for you. If you don't want to move your head, well, you can simply move the gun. So one thing you can do, let's say I've got my, my gun up here too, and I've got my right eye, good side alignment side picture, I need to use my left eye, I can simply cant the gun over to get that side alignment side picture. All right, so I'm just moving the gun over, tilting it maybe 10 degrees, maybe 45 at the most. Now I can get on target. Now if I'm gonna do this, I have to make sure I'm accounting for the recoil, because instead of the recoil going straight up, now it's gonna go off to my left-hand side, which is something natural if you shoot one-handed, you have to typically account for that diagonal movement of the gun, something you can easily factor in. If I don't wanna cant the gun, the other thing I can do is literally move the gun over in front of my left eye. So I'm just simply moving it over to my left eye to get that good side alignment side picture. Right, so those are the different ways we can practice shooting cross-eye dominant. You can move the gun or you can move your head. I encourage you to try what works best for you because it's not always the same for everybody else. Before you go, quick reminder, we have a secret gun giveaway going on right now. You can enter for free, but it ends really soon. Just click the link in the description below to reveal which brand new gun you could win.